Hey there everyone, it is me Maria Young right back at you yet again and I do have to tell you I have yet another very exciting Craigslist haul for you today. As a matter of fact, it is quite an adventure because I have to tell you I have been capable of getting so many diversified plants, plants that have been on my wish list forever and then I also got a very close inside scoop of the actual beautiful garden that they came from. The actual lady was kind enough to give us a tour of her wonderful, phenomenal plants. So today I'm gonna take you guys with me while I go shopping. And of course, at the end of this video, so you better stay tuned, I'm gonna be showing and proving to you again how Craigslist definitely comes through. <laughs> Are you guys ready? Why, of course you guys are. Bam, 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 and boom, boom. Okay, folks, and we have arrived. Your garden's gorgeous. Is this a catacetum type? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Wow. That's what it is. I love them. Uh huh. Look at the mangoes. Everyone is eating the birds eating, ah. the squirrels eating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Orchids at the bottom of a mango tree. Yeah, they're kind of a bad <laughs> But you know what? Sometimes they want to be left alone. I find a lot of them grow healthier when you just leave them alone. Sometimes we love them to death. We give them too much attention. Look how big her mangoes are. Look at that. Be yummy when these get ripe. They're so yummy. I know. It does take a lot of time, though. It does. Wow. Gorgeous. Yeah, I think this is a Bangkok sunset. Very nice. Very healthy catacetum. Okay, so now these are ornamental though. These are not these are edible not pineapples. Edible. Okay. No. They're that's, just adorable. They're though. just as big as they get grow. Okay. They're not growing any bigger than that. That's it. Okay. And you see the little pups, right? Those yeah, are pups yeah, at the yeah. bottom. Yeah. Plant the part, this part. So easy to grow? It's easy to grow. Okay. Yeah. But then you plant it so small, it will take some time, like mm. a couple of years for okay. it to grow. But when it grows to that size, it's like, like a weed. Like a weed. Uh huh. Gorgeous. What is this one? Spotted cutlery. Fragrant too, right? Mini cutlery. Looks like some sort of, um, what is it, spotted jungle? I think they call it's it. It's a jungle ice. I like how compact it is and it stays short, but yet it's all these very, blooms. Very nice. Very pretty. And the colors are beautiful. You got that little blue in there and the pink all around. Gorgeous. Nice starburst. And this is her dragon fruit right here. Take a look at that and you see all those blooms right here that are about to become the fruit. So yes, this amazing sized dragon fruit right here is bearing its very healthy fruit filled with antioxidant and very tasty. So you guys definitely stay tuned for more and find out exactly what we got in this amazing Craigslist haul. Okay folks, and here we are right back at home in my beautiful tropical garden. And we're gonna go ahead and get this haul party started and we are going to do it right now.
Okay, folks, and we're going to go ahead and get this party started off with a bang right here with this latest craze of mine. This is a Hoya, and this particular Hoya is known to have one of the largest blooms, indeed blooming very large clusters, and this is also known to be fragrant as well with these very elongated, very lime green leaves as you are seeing right here. And let's take a closer look at these very glossy leaves because they are so pretty you are going to notice some veining in there as well i don't know how well the camera is catching this because it is quite glossy but the veining is in there so very large beautiful leaves makes quite a beautiful structure to this plant right here this is actually the hoya imperialis and you don't commonly see this too often so i am very happy to be able to get one of these right here and the actual vine is very long and has two growth points so it is quite a very healthy plant and this is known to be a fast grower as well becoming very very large and really needs some form of trellis structure to hold this up so this is going to get repotted so I'm very happy to get this right here and I only got this believe it or not for eight buckaroonies what a find and what a deal indeed and speaking of Hoya look at this I do have another one again quite a Hoya craze I'm going through right now. Now this one is smaller. It's actually grown from a cutting yet you see that it is very healthy and still very full for a cutting and if we take a closer look at the leaves you are definitely seeing two variations of green in there. You're seeing that lime green in the actual leaf itself and then in the veining a darker green now i'm not quite sure exactly what this is she didn't quite know and i don't have a tag so if you know what it is please be sure to advise me so that she will also be able to stake her claim to fame and this one in particular i got for only five buckaroonies so i believe this is also a great and fabulous deal and the very next plant that we have right here is a hurnia Zebrina. This is a succulent cactus right here known for their very fabulous blooms as you can see right here. Also known as the lifesaver plant as you can see with the lifesaver mimicking of the actual blooms. Looks so tropically delicious. Nice piece of eye candy right there. Definitely want to keep the kitties away from this because they might be so tempted. And this particular plant right here, as you can see, is at a very nice size, considering that this is a smaller type of cacti plant. And again, it is in bloom, so it is definitely a mature plant with some blooms yet still in bud, as you can see back there, just waiting to bloom. So definitely a nice plant right here. And I only got it for three buckaroonies, so yay, another great find. Find. And will you guys take a look at this very large succulent plant right here? This is the Stapilia gigantea. Indeed, it is quite an enormous growing type of cacti plant and called gigantea because of its ginormous blooms as well. This is only but the bud and look how huge it is. Great big size and because of these very well-known blooms these are also known as the starfish cacti as well blooming quite an enormous bloom shaped as a starfish and almost looking identical with quite a nice patterning to the bloom also has a lot of texture with the hair and the fuzz and the fur so it's definitely an orchid that draws a lot of interest now the only thing that is standoffish about this plant right here and if I did say orchid excuse me you guys know I do have a lot of orchids and sometimes I will mistakenly call a plant an orchid but as I stated this is a succulent now the only standoffish thing about this succulent is the fact that it does have a tremendous fragrance and not really in a positive way in quite the negative way where it does not smell too appetizing as a matter of fact it does smell quite atrocious 
atrocious. But if you can stomach the smell, I mean, the blooms are just so wondrous to witness and to look at. And this plant right here, as big as the size is, I only got it for four buckaroonies, believe it or not, folks. And you guys already know, I am so in love with the bromeliads. And this one right here is a really large bromeliad, has about seven actual plants within here and that's as of right now you guys know they will develop their pups rather quickly so this will become even more ginormous than what it is now and what i do love most is the variegation also the striation and the beautiful blushing of that wonderful pink and that lime green intertwined in there as well and i got this beauty right here for 12 buckaroonies, indeed such a great deal. And the very next set of bromeliads that I have are these right here, which these are the cryptanthes, also known as the earth star. And take a look at their very extreme patterning, how beautiful and how wonderful, definitely eye-catching are those bandings of squiggly stripes right there definitely beautiful contrast with the deep maroon and also that silverish white overlay that it has as well and this one in particular is a variation of greens with the lime and darker green and also the white striping in there also and what i do love most is the actual definite star shape that it has and with this one right here i'm tickled pink because i definitely have yet another one right there you can't barely see it because it almost appears to be black and so now I have a lighter one which is a maroon but definitely both very beautiful and adds variation to my bromeliad collection and since we are on the subject of cryptanthus bromeliads let me go ahead and show you some of the ones that i already have and here's yet another one back there and if we also take a look down right here take a look at that there's some more and this one actually is a mama with a whole bunch of babies on the crown and also beneath the leaves so you definitely can see how they multiply and right there as well. So as you see, I do have quite the variety of the Cryptanthus bromeliads. So I am excited to get the new additions that I have today. Okay, so this plant right here, you might already somewhat recognize because of the pineapple shape that it does have on top of the stem or the spike right there. Now, this actually is not the edible pineapple, although I will say that the edible pineapple plants are also considered bromeliads as well so if you guys didn't know that is one of our edible bromeliads but again this one in particular is just a mere ornamental plant but indeed this is quite a very nice addition to any bromeliad collection and this can also multiply in a rather large clump having these adorable pineapple shapes at the very top and this one in particular i did get for four buckaroonies and last but never least are these striking bromeliads right here and i have to tell you this by far is one of my most favorite bromeliads because of the extreme coloration the extreme patterning the splotches and also the heavy banding that's in there as well the wonderful maroon red or cherry red along with that beautiful lime green that really shows through again very beautiful tropical contrast right here one of the most gorgeous and standout bromeliads and these actually are in pots that are containing about three or four bromeliads as you can see right here so definitely this is a great pot 
containing many plants and I have two of them and they were actually sold to me for six dollars a piece and because they are so striking so beautiful so wonderful and one of my most favorite bromeliads this is really quite a great deal for six buckaroonies. And there you have it folks, that is my orchid haul adventure. Now you guys are definitely gonna have to let me know exactly what you thought about this haul and if all of my excitement was actually warranted because I have to tell you this is one of my most exciting hauls ever, 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 ever and although i didn't get any orchids which you guys know i always am on the lookout for orchids the actual orchids that she had she only had a few available and i already had them so i wasn't going to get duplicates but i did get a wonderful array of plants as you guys seen you guys are definitely gonna have to let me know exactly which ones were your favorite and also if you guys also have any of the ones that I got as well let me know that also I thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another episode of my orchid adventure and of course allowing me to share my love my passion my orchids and my plants with you guys and if you guys have not yet subscribed Definitely make sure you do that. Like, share, and subscribe, and turn on that bell notification just so you guys will know exactly when I do post a new video. And of course, join me on Facebook and Instagram as well under My Orchid Adventures. And as you guys already know, I do truly love and appreciate each and every one of you guys all. And I will see you guys later, and I'll also grow with you guys later as well. Bye bye for now. Mwah.